So former Yorkshire cricketer Azim Afiq is campaigning to have a report into his claims of racism at Yorkshire Cricket Club but released in full as more disturbing details emerged into his alleged treatment between 2008 and 2018. It comes after the club cleared his former Yorkshire teammate, Gary Vallance, of any wrongdoing, saying his use of a racial slur was in the spirit of friendly banter. Well, we're joined by former international cricketer and sports broadcaster Isabel Westbury and former English international cricketer Monty Panasso, who's played for England in the Ashes with Gary Balance. Good to see both of you this morning. Um, Monty, some of the, the new things that have merged in this that, that is being brewing for a while it is Gary's uh, Balance's statement last night. You know him, don't you? His statement appears to be saying he's terribly sorry if any offence was caused. He regrets using the words he used in what he describes as banter. He had no idea it was... Uh, in any way upsetting the team at the time. Um, and, in fact, they're very close friends. What do you make of that? Well, I think um, they, they've completely uh, mishandled this case, you know, where they haven't taken, you know, serious concern for Azim Rafiq, his welfare, and they've kind of put it, termed it under, you know, banter, which is, mm. uh, you know, sits deeply uncomfortable with me. You know, the, the, the P word is a racist term and should not be defined under the banter br bracket. So uh, this was obviously, you know, Yorkshire felt that, uh, you know, re received, um, um, you know, allegations um, weren't that important to them. They kind of avoided the issues and also they delayed the report. And this statement of Gary Balance should have been released, you know, in, in August when, when yeah. the ECB wanted that report. So if you met and, and played with Gary um, to give us a sense of him, because we don't know him at all, um, have you heard him use that term? Is there sort of banter that, that you would describe as offensive in the way that this clearly is? Well, I played when I played for England with him. He never used, you know, the p word, you know, towards me, and I never heard him say anything such, you know, during during his time with England. And when he went to Yorkshire, he was uh, a roommate of Joe Root in two thousand and eight. And Joe Root is a great captain, one of the great gentlemen, you know, of the game, an impressive man. It'd be interesting to know what his viewpoints were from, you know, Gary Balance, how 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 well he knows the man. But uh, this, um, you know, the term of banter and they were close friends yeah. is, um, is, is not actually, um, you know, appropriate, you know. And I think uh, they've, they've completely mishandled this case. And, um, you know, whoever's in charge, they've got, you know, one of the British Asian, you know, um, members on, on the committee, Misma Ahmed, who kind of said that, you know, um, when the full report comes out, you'll understand all of these allegations. So this is a real complex, you know, situation for Razi, uh, um, Azim Rafiq, Yorkshire County Cricket Club and ECB. Mm. And, and they've got to, you know, take this investigation and, and get a grip of this, uh, yeah. these allegations. Isabel, um, it, it, it looks from the outside and clearly Yorkshire are feeling this now um, with all of their sponsors so publicly stepping away from the club, which is going to have a huge impact, that they have, as, um, as we were just hearing from Monty, they've handled this incredibly badly. How have they got it so wrong? It seems to be the case that they just... They wanted to see what they could get away with. I mean, this story was first came to light over a year ago by, I guess, a slightly smaller publication, Wisdom Cricket Monthly. It had a, um, an interview with Azim, and, and he, he made these allegations at first. And then nothing really happened. And, in fact, Yorkshire even pretty much barred the, the magazine from coming and covering their games or having anything to do with the cricket club. And it was only until it went to the, the national outlets and outlets at ESPN Crick Info and, and picked up from there that we've had this process that happened where we've had this <clears throat> allegedly an independent review at Yorkshire and now ECB have it. Of course, we've got politicians involved. So I think it was very much a case of let's see what we can get away with, hope we can brush it under the carpet. And obviously, we got to the stage where that, that's kind of imploded in front of them because, as you say, the headline sponsor, Emirates, has pulled out Yorkshire Tea, synonymous with, with Yorkshire Cricket Club. And Yorkshire as a, a county has gone as well. And we're seeing a lot more. And I think it's... Um, yeah, real crisis stations I mean, here in Yorkshire. that's very disturbing, though, is all, uh, that they isn't it, that they it. would try and suppress it? I mean, does, is that indicative of what you've found? Because I know you felt that you've had 
tough times being a woman involved in it. Uh, a, a sort of sexist um, situation. So do you find the response slow to the point of criminal? Oh, I, I think the response is awful. There's, there's obviously a, a, a dual issues here. There's the initial racism that has happened yeah. in, over the last five, six years, and there's also just the process, which is just abhorrent, um, and, and the transparency. I think discrimination in all forms, whether it be gender, whether it be uh, racial, the, the, the cricket world has a, a long way to go. We've obviously seen quite a few issues crop up of recent. I mean, of course, Ollie Robinson, the England mm -hmm. bowler, and those historic tweets, and that, that came up in the test matches last year. We've also had the, um, Alex Hepburn at Worcestershire County Cricket Club. He was charged and convicted for rape um, after a WhatsApp group between a number of, of current professional cricketers there. So there's there's obviously an issue with the culture, the way, with the way in which this process is handled. But also I think what's key here is to remember is that a lot of these men, these players, Gary Balance, uh, Azim, when he was there as well, they're young men, they're raw, they're, it's a very macho environment, the, mm. it's a dressing room environment. So I think there's a duty of care as well mm. from the people that, that run this club, that look after these players, that really is lacking here. And again, it spans all sorts of discrimination, not, not just racial. I think, Monty, one of the things from the outside, I, mean, I enjoy my mm. cricket. I wouldn't say I'm in any way a cricket aficionado, and I certainly don't follow cricket as closely as I follow rugby and football. But is this, from the outside, it feels like this is, this is cricket being 20, 30, 40 years behind some of the other major sports in the country with regards to the reaction. You know, what Isabel's describing there, Yorkshire County Cricket Club, which is a huge, one of the huge county cricket clubs, trying to suppress this interview that came out first time banning the journalists from covering their games. I mean, that is like something from, from 40, 50 years ago in the world of sport, rather mm -hmm. than in 2021. Is that Very where cool. cricket is? Does cricket need to pull its socks up and bring itself, so make itself more sort of relevant to the, 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 the standard that it should be held in? Yeah, Ben, I, I completely agree with you there, because when we look at football, we've got kick it out, we've got show racism, the red card, you know, which I'm an ambassador of. But we don't have any anti-racial, you know, discrimination charities involved in cricket. And that's something maybe, you know, the PCA or the ECB need to look into and, and think that possibly we need, you know, um, get kick it out or even show racism and red card to get involved to, pos to help, especially, you know, cricketers who, you know, sign up at academy level, play second team cricket, you know, they... You know, at start of the year, we see the PCA do, you know, they're, they're kind of like, you know, talks around all county clubs. And they should be like a maybe a questionnaire or an educational seminar regarding, yes. um, you know, racial language. What is banter? What is termed as racist? Like, for example, you know, my name could be Sajid, Satwinder or even Shuresh. And you tend to see the nickname given Steve, which means Steve, you know, naive and that's, you know, that's kind of backroom racism, which should be, you know, yeah. taken away and out of uh, out of this, it's you know, beautiful game we have. It's depressing, Monty, isn't it, that a questionnaire is needed to know that these terms are yeah. uh, offensive. Should someone at board level go? Should the chairman go? Nobody has departed who is responsible for this. Isabel, you're, you're nodding. Yeah, I, I mean, if, if nobody's head rolls, so to speak, this is what uh, Health Secretary was saying, then, you know, there's no accountability. Somebody has to go. Somebody has to take responsibility. And at the moment, that's been avoided. So if it doesn't, I think it will be quite astounding. Monty, what do you think? Well, I, th I think this um, is up to the you know, ECB and how strong the, you know, these allegations are. They've obviously, um, Yorkshire have put themselves in a, such a difficult position where, you know, they, they, they're kind of like as a knee-jerk reaction on seeing all the sponsors leave, the government putting pressure on themselves. And if there's, you know, strong evidence where there could be further things that could come out of the report when the ECB, you know, take this investigation and give a fair, you know, give a fair account to all parties involved, then, yeah, we could possibly see some of the board members and even the chairman, you know, resigning. OK. Monty, Isabel, thank you very much for joining us and giving us your thoughts on this this morning. We did contact Yorkshire County Cricket Club. Uh, we didn't get a reply from them. In the response to the report, the club has previously said the issues raised by Azim Rafiq are going to be considered not only by the panel, but also by Employment Tribunal and the ECB. And quickly, hopefully. Yeah.